by pretty much hammering it. I want to show you I did. It didn't really do too much for me. I tried to take a mallet hammer to it. And remember again, we took the washers from the back of this out of there. So you can see here, it's just the rubber. Rubber meets the road. See there? It's just the rubber. So it's nothing but just rubber, right? So I tried to put, <coughs> put it in here, I'm sorry. And then I tried to hammer it, right? Try it. Well, what I did was I held it in place a little bit more securely. So let me do that. Give you guys an actual real, real scenario what I did. Okay, I went like this. I held this in place, just held it in place where so it doesn't bounce. I took a mallet hammer because I didn't want to damage it. But all I did was create a dirty marking. It looked like it's about to maybe. I don't know. It might if we do it a little bit longer. We could probably finish it off. But I'm thinking why not do it the easier way since I have the tool here. You remember that socket I bought to drill the strut bar holes? Well, let's put it to some use, shall we? So here we go. This was this little socket I bought. And I don't think we need much more of a bigger opening uh, to fit our mount. So this is at the socket three-fourths. So what we did, it, it also comes with a little center hole. And what's great about it is the fact that this guy came with a center hole as well for the hole. So we're just going to put it in there like this. And then we're just going to drill. Ready? Be careful, just might want to hold it firmly. You can do it slowly, you don't have to go fast. It's just rubber. Essentially, you can. Look at that. Make sure you go straight. Make sure you go straight. There you go, done. Woo! Voila! We got our bar and mirrors here. Look at that, clean. Looks like a professional. For once, right? <laughs> Alright, so we'll do the next one. Where was that other guy? Uh, now, unfortunately, we won't be able to connect this guy back in. It's just kind of a downfall unless we put a bigger washer. We, yeah, we could. We could still put him in. We just have to get a really fat washer to go over this lip a little bit. But I think I'm pretty happy with it. If you look at this hole here, it's probably, this is the original size hole. It's almost the same size as this guy. So we did it quite right. Um, let's go and get the other one off too. And let's get him taken care of. That way we have our bar and mirror holes there. So where is the other guy? So that's it, we got this guy here. Gotta figure out where's the, am I just not seeing him? I know we tried him on there, it didn't, then we brought him back out here. I'm always scattering everything around, right? Oh, look at that, yeah, I knew he'll probably fall somewhere. He couldn't fall too far from the tree. So let me go back in there and grab him. Oh no, don't wanna scrape him over nothing like that. <sighs> Pull him up, okay. Same thing with here, we have to remove him. So let's do this, can't just take off the cap, right? Gotta be a little bit more sophisticated than that. So we gotta get his little Phillips in there. And unwind them out. Crack them open, you gotta hold this firmly. Lefty Lucy still. There you go. Then we'll shake the cap off. And then we'll shake this guy off, the washer and his nut. Kinda of protrude them out of there. There it is. Then we just put this guy here, which is so great because he's already got a center hole for us right there. I mean, we couldn't even ask for anything more, right? Take this guy in here like this. Well, first of all, let's clean this old guy rubber out. Here's the old rubber that came from the, the bit of NCY one. There we go. That was the old one. And so you just get this guy here, fit him in here. He'll, he'll keep the circle alignment going on for you. And just go ahead and give it a, a swirl again. You can do it fast. I get the hang of it. Just don't let it twist out of your hand. Okay, there you go. They're rubber, so they don't get them into the wall that easily. See, there you go, nice and clean. Very nice. That wasn't hard, huh? Beats banging it. And we could have done it that way, we didn't have this tool, so I figured why not use the tool that we have? So we'll save this rubber for whatever mementos would need it for. Maybe create some kind of rubber bushing or something, who knows? So let's go ahead and put this guy back in here and put his little washer that came with him originally. Or if he can stay on there, he'd probably have to stay the other way. So let's go and do the other way. Let's go and do the other way. Ouch. I go and put him like this right here. There we go. Maybe create some kind of washer boot for him or something, I don't know. But that's it, that's how we remove it. And we're gonna, of course, put this back in the old container. That's how we do it. Make sure all our stuff is intact. And actually, I do have the bar ends of the Strata ones here too as well, but I guess I don't have it here on me. Yeah, you can almost use this as a plug-in. Just go 
goes right in. Almost flushes really. <laughs> this is for the strata. Where's the other strata? <laughs> All right, so there we go. This is the other strata. Poor guy. Took a pretty good beating today. We painted them and everything and we ended up replacing them. Seems like we replaced everything we tried to fix. <laughs> I think the brake assembly might be next. I'm not really thrilled about the fact that it went back to kind of sloppy. Even though it will work. But I just don't like it the way it is. You know, with a little leak. Maybe I'll tighten some more. I don't know. Give it a little final blow. Hopefully it doesn't do me wrong. If it breaks in there, then we got to replace the brake bleeder anyway. But I'll probably do that maybe at the end. But there, as long as the cable doesn't break, you know what I mean? Sorry, scraping up every last bit I have. Just gonna wipe some of that oil out before we put it in the container. We don't need the mystery oil in there. <clears throat> My phone has about maybe another 20 minutes recording time, so I'll do the best I can here. We'll probably have to continue this on. You'll probably see me start assembling the Loctite and everything. Maybe I'll see how far I get from here. So yeah, just, you know, don't be scared. I mean, I was scared because I didn't know how to use the air compressor. Nor did I know how to, what I was going to do to put the hole. But just go ahead and just try it and, you know, what's the worst that can happen, you know what I mean? You know, just kind of use a little bit of common sense too. Don't don't go overboard. But for me, I just didn't know what's going to expect really. I didn't know if that rubber is going to, you know, twist this off my hand or what. But it went smoothly. You can see there, it looks like a professional cut. It looks even more better cut than this guy. You know, they're perfectly small. See? Yeah. And you see, pounding them was kind of, it just created a little bruise mark, really. Didn't really help us anything. Well, we could still buff it out, shine it. All right, so let's go and put this guy back. He's no longer needed in service. I think we kind of stretched him a little bit too far. Look at that, he's so big. Okay, so the bar and mirrors, these guys are perfectly the same. The holes are perfectly cut the same, which is great for us. Uh, <clears throat> we won't need this guy's, the NCY cap, unfortunately. I mean, these are so cool, but they look kind of, you know, okay. <laughs> they look like they came from a soda cap or something. <laughs> I mean, I don't, I don't want to diss it, but at the same time, it doesn't look that, you know, like, oh, wow, this is NCY cap. It looks like, uh, you know, a little checker piece or some sort. So anyway, I should actually take this and screw this in here, actually, prevent it from getting lost, right? So why don't I do that? Just in case we have our components here. <laughs> See, this is what was holding it from the back right here, like this, this setup right here, like this. And the pressure from the, the little bushing there. That was the only thing that was holding it. So let me get this guy back off. Peel open. Get his little coarse cap back on. If we don't use our bar and mirror, we, I don't know, we could pop these guys in. We'll have to use a bigger washer for one thing. But I don't think he'll probably be able to. Alright, so this is how our bar and mirror is going to be. Let me go ahead and put these guys back in the container real quick. They were nice while it lasted. Alright, so here we go. These are our original ones. These are the... Can we even push this cap in there? Oh shit, we can actually. Looks like it came from the NCY one now. Or it's a little bit too small. Let's see if I can actually make it look like it's part of NCY. <laughs> A little bit. Look at that. We, I just migrated the Strata 7 with NCY. How cool is that? It actually stays on there too, actually. Pretty damn good. Uh, but this guy probably won't. He's like, nah, I'm cool with that. All right, that's fine. Stay cool with it. Uh, so what we're going to do is just kind of put them back in here. We will try to set these guys up here. Set this guy's up here. Don't know which is which, but as long as they don't rub each other, keep them from harm's way. So this is our it. This is our original NCY package, and this is our actual NCY product here that we made pretty much for the open bar and mirror. So if you guys had a question, can you do it? Yes, you can cleanly uh, with the right um, little socket driver. I was going to use the one that we drill our gauge. Uh, what do you call that? That voltmeter, but it was too big. That was just, so this guy was the only one that's actually was small enough to be able to do the trick for us. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at the bar and mirrors. I know I got a lot of show and tell here. I showed you the bar and mirrors earlier. They're some of the great companies come from California. See, like this, it's California, USA. A CRG, California, I don't know. 
I don't know what this stands for, maybe CRG something. But this is the genuine equipment. There should be two of them in there. And these are, I think this is just, yeah, this is it right there. So you can see here, it's going to put a plate here. I need to be able to reach this guy all the way furthest back as possible. And it's going to stay like this. So this is how it's going to look. Sick, huh, isn't it? CRG, got to clean them up a little bit. It's been a year now. I actually took these guys back into play. Now what I'm going to do is going to put some M3 uh, electrical tape to tighten them up a little bit more to hold them in place. Uh, their teeth are right here. The, there's their teeth right there. So these teeth right here goes in here. Sort of like two, two of them, two teeth cones. And the more you dig this in, the more these teeth split up and kind of widen itself. So it creates a little sort of like an interlock. Kind of opens up like this wedge itself, you know what I mean? Just wedge itself to stay open. But don't worry, it's not going to grip your plastic. It's supposed to go deep down enough. That's what I'm hoping. So you can see here, this takes already half an inch, right? So that will be clear. Now this guy here, we're hoping that he will stay compressed, grip a little bit of metal. We want the metal. We're aiming for the metal bar. We're not aiming for, you know, expanding in this area here. We're, we're hoping to expand it right here. So it's going to be a little bit of a, you know what I mean? It's going to be like almost... You know, a slight edge of gripping right there, but we're going to try. That's why we're going to put duct tape around this. I mean, electrical tape. We'll use, um, you know, 3M electrical tape there. And then we're going to try to see if we can um, get that guy a little bit more securely mounted and everything. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to plan to get this guy gripped in there. And first of all, we got to figure out how we're going to, what throttle tolerance here we're going to put him in. So let's try to see if we can go ahead and put this throttle cable in there, kind of simulate it and see where it's going to be at before we actually pressure this guy in here and get him all the way in because we could probably even do it i doubt it though because uh, i don't want to put any lubricant in them for sure because if you put lubricant in them he's not going to do this any good so hairspray would probably be still the best so let's go ahead and uh, assemble this throttle controller which we can uh it goes from the other side here i think i have them inside let me put this key out of the way real quick here uh, it's gonna be a little bit harder now, I guess. Maybe I don't know, but I have to pretty much torque this guy in there. I wish I didn't have all these accessories yet. Maybe I should take them off just to make sure I don't break them. Let me go and take that off. Uh, we did order a set of these guys here, so hopefully they'll come in, and hopefully they'll do the trick. So we'll find out. There we go. So let's go ahead and unwrap this guy out here. I believe he's a 12 millimeter or 10 millimeter, right? We remember last time? Yeah. We're gonna use blue lock type. Now I really like him the way he is right now, but unfortunately, I don't know if I can twist this. Well, I could probably twist him. You know, let's try it. I just hate to really ruin my structure here all right so i'm just scared to put them in here and then fiddle around with them afterwards you know but i need to get this guy in here this guy right here so he needs to go inside and come back out i know we can't put him in yet until we actually put our other guy in there too so it's like a lot of variables but we're just doing a dry fit again everything's always been a dry fit for us first and then we actually try to maneuver it so let's do this let's see where his throttle threshold would be where he's resting at and then we can simulate the where he's going to be at near. So let's see if I can. I believe this bolt here goes loose for right now. I think until it goes in. I can't remember, but we'll find out. So here we go. We're going to put him in through here. I think he just digs through it. Or oh, actually, he does stay in there. Sorry, I apologize. This is actually for taking him, tightening him in. So this guy needs to stay in. Uh, thing about him is it's going to be hard to twist because he has so many see that he's, he's twisted on the other side okay so what i'm going to do is try to get this guy in here so i need to twist him in there see that's why i didn't want the mirror staying in there because it's kind of like i got a twist like this and these guys are going to be banging so probably not a good idea at all to 
keep them in there. So I, we just need the back plate to test out the, where the throttle is going to be before we slide our throttle sleeve on the NCY one. Let's see if I can back this out like this. Uh, this doesn't have red Loctite yet, but when you have red Loctite, this thing is not going to allow you to twist easily. The reason why I want to use red Loctite is because these things are actually almost like hand tools. If you look at it, you can almost, if you use blue Loctite, you can probably twist it off, right? So that's why I didn't want to use a... Uh, and then also, by the way, I got the ram mount key lock now. So we won't have this guy no more, nor will we have the tie strap. So ugly, right? So this is going to be actually, it's going to be like a little key thing, sort of. I don't know what it is. It's like a little spiral key. Just like one of those wheel locks for your rims where one of the bolts is kind of awkward. Kind of, you have to get a special kind of a socket in order to remove it. So that's what we're going to have here. It's going to be a little round. It's going to have like maybe five little spiny flowers or something looking. And you cannot just, you know, randomly walk from the street and hopefully get the right key to it, right? But this one, anyone could actually go in there and just twist like this and take off your cup holder, and, you know, or your holder, your ram mount and be done with. But the other one's not. So that's what's good about that one. So that should come in shortly too. So I'll, I can't wait to show. Oh, oh good. He fell on the, <laughs> out of all the good places he fell in, he fell in the right spice. All right, so... These guys here, I'm gonna put them in the box. A lot of things try to square away. It's gonna get messy for a little bit. All right, so let's see here. Now, I could actually bolt this guy off first before I do all this weird stuff, and because he's not gonna be able to come off easily. So I'll need to take Alan Sock and this guy here. And he is probably 8'6", right? I think we did it by hand, so we could probably twist him off by hand. We'll see. Go. Oh, he's tight. <laughs> he's tight. <laughs> Look at this guy here. Let me go get the sock and dry him out real quick. Probably have him somewhere here. Here he is. The socket here is driving the earlier. The, the whoa, 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 what's this? No. All right, one at a time. I know this is a really organized mess. This is what's gonna happen. Got everything here. <clears throat> but it doesn't take that long to clean up. Maybe about 10 minutes really tops. It looks like forever to clean up, but once you get an idea of where, what what's goes to trash, what goes to where, you can pick up your pieces. Probably five minutes really. So it's just like making a dish, right? You're cooking a baking a cake, flowers everywhere, all messy and everything. And when you're finally done cleaning up part, everything goes down the drain. You know what to wash, you know what to put away, Tupperware. All right, so there we go, it's done. Got to, now we can loosen by hand. Just wanna get them off for safety. All right, there we go. I have five more minutes left, you guys, so I'm gonna do my best here to hopefully capture it for you guys. There we go, put that body back in there. Um. Well, you know what? We could probably leave these little, little fitty, fitty bodies. The reason why is, well, we won't have to rearrange them next time, right? Supposedly. Oh. I guess you can see what it's like to have this guy apart. He only has a spring in one side, and the spring's probably more unlikely in the top area, and because the bottom area is more secure fit. So what we're gonna do is see this guy here. He's gonna use the same stud, but he's not gonna have this knob anymore. We're gonna replace this knob with the lock kind. So people can't just knob it off. Knob it off, is that even a word? See that? See, this can go any way, actually. All right, so this stays open like this for us so we can gap it. And he won't have this knob no more. He'll have a lock kind of knob. Uh, they were, they weren't much. They were like seven bucks. Just a knob. So I mean, yeah, that could be a little expensive for just a knob, right? Now he's not gonna have balance because there's no ball in here, right? This ball is going to be the baseball. Then you got another ball here. So that's all it works on. That's the round mount technology there. So there's it. We'll leave that one there. And then these guys here, he's good to go. Awesome. So let's go ahead and get the throttle cable in through there. That way we can really get an idea of where the guy is on his throttle uh, grip sets. Because we won't know unless we put this dry in there. So let me... Let me try to set this down here for the last, next five minutes here before it dies out. Or before the torch is full, as it says. Okay. Oh, sorry. Let me get, let me get my 
Medusa back in here. Come on. Be nice. All right, I got 38 more minutes of recording time. Goodness, I actually forgot to delete some of the other stuff I had earlier on the video. So this is great. So now I'm going to go ahead and show you guys here how I'm going to try to mount this guy. Or try to get the, what do you call that, the throttle cable going on here. Awesome. So let's do this. All right, so first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to slide this guy in here. And he will slide in. Oh, actually, he won't slide in. You have to thread him in. Sorry, that's why. <laughs> there we go. But the whole idea is to get them all in there. You guys have probably seen this before on my other videos, so I'll just repeat myself. But this might be a new guy here. Who knows? See how far we can take them or not take them. I'll try to take them all the way, but if you look at it, you have to have room for this guy too, right? So you have to back him out a little bit. So he's he's gonna need a couple of threads at least. <laughs> maybe about three. Three, maybe three or four. Just give him enough too, you know? Don't want to feel left out. There we go. Nice. Then you can tighten the guy, your guy up here. And then you can tighten this guy up too and eventually. See how you want to position it. See this right here is bended too much, so that means you have to back this guy out a little bit. You want to be able to turn him around like this, sort of like an L shape. Or kind of curved like this. So that okay mop mop. You going to school? going to school now they they had to bring her back because she was she had a little bit like scratch not scratch mark but a little almost like a little you know uh they gave because they afraid she might have like a little small pox or something so she, she got out of school for a day she got home got back on her youtube watch her channel that's how she does it okay i'm gonna go and put the throttle sleeves in here i'm gonna go put the controller facing and then we're gonna get ready to screw this guy in we have one screw here we're gonna get the other screw here. Okay, where's the throttle sleeve that we're gonna put in there? Assimilate. Where are you, throttle sleeve? I know. I got you everywhere. Oh, it's in my pocket. I always gotta look for things. And every time I ever look for anything I need, I just reach in my pocket, and there he is. All right, so <laughs> I gotta remember that. Keep looking in my pocket. Okay, so the thing about this one is. We want to go ahead and hook the throttle. So I need to pull this. I need to get the throttle out here. So I need to get a needle nose plier to fish them out a little bit. Because I need to probably get them in here like this. I don't even know if I can pull this guy all the way out here to come out. So it's going to be hard, right? So I need to actually meet him almost here. Because he's not going to make it to the edge of the bar. He's not going to make it to the edge of the bar with this guy here. See, look. He won't meet. Well, you guys can't tell. Sorry. See, he's the edge of the bar is right here, and he's not even reaching all the way to the edge of the bar. So I need to pull this guy out. Well, I'll just hook him enough right here. So you guys are gonna see me start trying to hook him up. Hook him up. Okay, well, I need to need a little flyer. I know I need those pliers, I can use it for pulling out that, that throttle there. Get a number on them, right? Okay, so here we go. Got the needle nose plier here. So I'm just gonna be careful. Now you could cheat this a little bit by stuffing something in your throttle there. Keep it open, wide open. I think that's what I'm gonna do because I know it's hard to keep this guy tugged and I don't wanna damage him. So what I'm gonna do is reach over, open my little throttle. Here again, which you guys probably won't be able to see unless I can take this guy off for a second, which I'm planning to do right now. Okay, we last time shoved a lighter in it, didn't we? Ah, uh, I can't because I can't shove any more out of him. You know why? Because he's covered by the K&N filter now. Wasn't thinking. All right, so we'll have to do what we can. We have to put some force into this. So here we go. Now, if he didn't have the Canaan filter, I could have opened his mouth like a sea bass and put it in there that way. But I can't do that. So that means it's up to him to come and play along with us here. So let's do this. 
there was a needle in my pocket just gotta look for anything i want it's in my pocket so <laughs> got i should put a little, little slogan in my in my you know tattoo right here in your pocket <laughs> okay oh man this is gonna be a little bit a little bit more challenging because you know i don't have there we go see i can pull the slack thing about it it's not gonna stay pulled for me so i have to hold it okay what i'm gonna do is bring it over here which is not that bad look i got him already where i want him or can you guys see that or sort of there we go i know it's kind of a little flippy flip floppy look at that put him in there this is where you should do it get all the leverage you want there we go and then you can have it rotate first of all you probably want to meet this guy back up and then you can let this rest no problem let him do all the rotation for you but just make sure the cable is actually staying in in place okay there we go so this is it now we're not gonna put late uh, cable loop right now or or what do you call that any kind of you know bearing grease or anything yet we're trying to get an idea where this guy would probably situate okay so let's go ahead and now that he's in there see that he's in there all the way you can see how he pulls the cable there he is he's pulling the cable or can you guys see that i apologize probably, probably can't even see that and i'm talking i know this is kind of vertical bear with me okay see how see he's pulling the cable so when i put him in there it was not that hard just kind of line him up there and get him to pull the cable the teeth's in here so let's go and lock the front now the controller's in the front i got the screw in one back there's a driver here. Should be another screw laying around somewhere. I think it's starting to rain, guys. It is Tuesday, right? It might be a good idea to test my mat or roll it in quickly because of rain. <laughs> it's starting to sprinkle. Oh boy. All right. Let me do the best I can here, you guys. It's gonna. It's raining now. See a little mist mark. Okay. So here we go. The heat is on. All right. Let's put this guy in here. Now we might not even have to close it, but I just want to close it to get a firm feel of where the throttle is going to rest. The reason why is all this is because I want the NCY logo to appear when it's resting. <laughs> that was it. Mm -hmm. That's the only reason I'm doing this is to get that NCY. Uh, the only reason I'm doing this dry fit for right now. All right, it's raining, guys. Should we test our new cover here in the rain? I mean, we're really taking our, our chances here on the scooter. Uh... I mean, what's the worst can happen, right? I better not say that. I think I'm going to do it. I'm going to go ahead and put this scooter cover to the test. Because if it's cheap from China and it's not going to do the trick, I'm not wanting it. All right, let me get the other bolts real quick here. I'm looking at my... What did I say? Look at my, look at my pocket. There it is again. Okay, so here it goes. Um... We got it all in there now where we want him to, right? Now, I guess for the remaining day here, since it's raining, it didn't really throw our schedule off or anything like because I really can't do much with all with this guy's not being here as well. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and put him inside outside with the cover on. And you can see how it's starting to sprinkle right now. Actually, now it's starting to pour. And then what I'm going to do, we're going to test it out. We're going to test out our cover. That's what I'm going to do. I'll keep one mirror in here just for whatever reason. I don't feel like taking them off right now. Okay, so we're gonna dry it up real quick. We're gonna put that cover back on. First of all, I gotta close the door here. Cause the dog's gonna want to escape. Cause that's what they do best, just make trouble. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put the cover on and it's gonna be raining. And we're gonna see tomorrow what's the result. <laughs> oh, please. All right, so but first of all, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take a little bit of precaution. I will close this. These guys are waterproof. This is waterproof connection here. Only main concern I have really is this guy right here. And you know the thing about him though, just to make doubly check, we're gonna be safe in the area there. I'm gonna put this little big, you know, plastic here that we thought about. So we're gonna get the seat open. Hopefully when the water does drip, it will not drip accordingly to where we might think we could, all right? So let's go and lash this guy down. Okay. We just want water to go over and out. So, because again, this is not an area here where we're thinking it's got cover. But the rest, we're gonna take our chances. And we're gonna see the rain starting to come down now. 
I'm gonna shake them off a little bit. It's starting to get a little bit of mist, uh, but it's starting, it's starting to rain now. So it's a good timing. I just got the cover on there. I wanna show you guys what's inside of it. It actually feels pretty warm inside of it. Let me go unlatch this a little bit for a second. Also, it's too tight. I probably wanna put it where the center kickstand can be pushed, pulled down so I can pull it from here. And now I probably wanna go over the center kickstand here. I could put the center kickstand in there a little bit too, but anyway, I'm gonna take a look at the idea inside. So this is it, what's inside here. I got this covered just in case as a backup and this of course right here because again we don't have that guard there the rain can actually uh, drip in and I think this will probably be fine I don't know if this is going to help us much but we'll find out in fact I should have put over the seat cover I mean because at least the seat will be blocked right this guy is the only one that's hanging on so you can see in here I'm pretty much kept dry the only thing I'm concerned about again is where this guy is so you can see here, I'm inside the uh, cover right now. It's actually pretty warm in here. Oh, really warm. It's almost like um, good, um, golly, I don't know what you could say. So like maybe 70 degrees. So anyway, we're just putting in like a saddle. So the rain will just kind of drop out. We don't want rain to build in. I doubt that rain will get in this much in here, but we'll find out what the result will be. See here, there are handlebars. We got the handlebars in now. And we'll work out getting the sleeve in shortly. I feel like a little kid in a clubhouse. <laughs> so there it goes, oh, it's fully in. It turns, I think, three, full 360, I believe. So that's good there. Oh wow, yeah, it could turn quite a bit more. So yeah, about three, it turns about full 360 degrees. If I can get a resolution on this. Wow, it's really suffocating here. I think there's no, like, it's not even breathable. Oh, I'm sweating already. It feels like one of your weather jacket, your motorcycle weather jacket. So there we go. So it's in there. I don't even know what the outside feels like yet. Oh, okay, it's not raining yet, but it's getting there. So we'll find out tomorrow how this cover does in this final test. So let me go back underneath here and get the tie strap over. Now I could put the center kickstand in there, but I chose to leave it down for safety, just in case, you know, the cement here, which I don't think it'll ever melt away, but just in case it ever gets rocky on this, we have that one right side. Of I never dropped my scooter before and I don't plan to. So I don't plan to by natural disaster or by design. So here we go. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, man. <coughs> Smell the, the dog urine still around this area. Oh, that's just disgusting. Let me go and get this guy on here real quick here. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Let me get this tripod. Right, right. Got to clip this little clipper. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> oh yeah, nothing like dog urine, <clears throat> wet grass, right? The smell of both of them. Okay, here we go. Wet grass I can tolerate, but dog urine, no. All right, here we go. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I'm so near my pollen there. All right, so there we go. We got that snapped in there. Pull them back out. I did try to wipe them down, make sure there's no uh, wet debris inside of here. So it all comes down to how the rain's gonna treat us. <laughs> you can see the skies here. So it was a, a quick light shower a little bit. Kind of scared us in, but that's okay. Okay, so we're going to test this out. And we're going to wait for our parts to get in. In the meantime, we're going to go to the hardware store and uh, take care of getting the Loctite. We also ordered some new 8mm uh, um, mirror adapters. I'm not sure we'll need those, but we'll just have them as a backup. They're chrome color, which we can always take a you know, black paint to them. Not a big problem there. Alright, so everything looked like it's pretty much... Head to toe, sealed. It looks good. This is it. So we'll find out. This cover, you guys, is starting to pour right now. You can see the rain, and it's also getting this guy wet here. So we're gonna test out this cover here, see if that can be durable. It's gonna be all weatherproof. We're gonna find out right now. It's starting to mist down here. You guys, hear it? Shake all the little sprinkling right now. Hear that? New raindrops coming down. Floor's getting wet. So we'll find out how this thing does. So far, I'm just checking to make sure everything's covered still. All the important stuff, anyway. Like this right here. I don't want the rims to get rusted. There is no food here, buddy. He's always nosy. <laughs> All right, 
So this is it. I think that's fine there. Hopefully you didn't just pee on him again. What an insult, right? And I don't want this guy to rust, so I'll probably lift him up. And I can't make up my mind whether I lift him up or not lift him up, but I think it'll be fine here. Let's see if this guy will do it. So we got him covered up there. So pretty much all the metal exposed covered. The only thing that should be not covered is unfortunately the center six can center kickstand because I can't, you know, cover that unfortunately. And the disc brakes here on one side. Let me see if I can turn this guy around, scoot him a little bit. Then we get to the center disc brakes here more covered. Of course, try to have it go over, you know. So the center disc kick and the rims are exposed a little bit. But these guys here should be covered. The rain should drop. Should go over, over, down, and around the splats. I mean, it's got the little slick little look here, you know what I mean? So we'll do it in a way where all the rain just runs off of it. We don't want rain to build and make this thing weighs down because if it weighs down, it's gonna put some weight on there and eventually keeps coming down forward. All right, so you can see it's kind of swerving. It's got a lot of slack here though, where the exhaust is. So I wish I could take some of this little extra slack and move it where the wheel front wheel is, you know? <laughs> or maybe I could just shove the whole thing forward, huh? Why don't I think of that? Or can I? Oh yeah, it's pretty tight here. This is not going forward for me anymore, I don't think. Oh, maybe this. Oh, sorry, my bad. Let's see. All right, let's see if I can free this guy up to give this guy side a little bit more. Maybe or maybe not, we'll see. Oh yeah, it gives a little bit more. So there we go, we kind of lift it off the ground too. It's good that it actually curvature is inside the threads. The reason why is we just don't want, look at that, nicely curved in, huh? Nice little seal there. So you can see it's got a nice little thing that keeps it sealed here. This guy thinks this thing, everything I touch is food or something. So there we go, all the lip here. It's going good. So we'll let the down rain come. There we go, protect a little bit of disc brakes. So it looks like the disc brake is covered up a little bit. The exhaust portion here can be covered up a little bit more, but it's not, it's not really necessary. As long as it just kind of draws out, just kind of runs down, we should be good. So it's a pretty neat cover. Take a picture of it real quick. It's just starting to miss. I really want to test out when there's a real downpour. I want to see how much it holds or wicks all the 